I'm Chris Fox, and this is The Bourbonite. The labels on whiskey are, in and of themselves, a work of art. And uh, if you've ever taken the time to actually look through them, they're actually quite interesting and tell a lot about what's in the bottle. For instance, a bottle like this that I'm drinking tonight says bottled in bond. Now that is a, is a term that originally was laid out in 1897 um, in the Bottled in Bond Act. It was a reaction to widespread adulteration of American whiskey. Essentially, people were cutting the flavor of their uh, whiskeys with iodine, tobacco, and any kind of other stuff. Um, not, a, not a favorable thing when you don't really know what's in the bottle. Um, the whole act essentially made the U.S. government the kind of guarantee um, that your bourbon in the bottle was bourbon, or your whiskey was whiskey, if it's bottled in bond. If it's bottled in bond, that means it came from one distillery, from one distiller, in one distilling season. Pretty strict. Way back then, it was an endorsement of quality and, and assurance for what your whiskey was. These days, some people think it's antiquated, but, you know, it, it kind of depends on how you, uh, how you look at your whiskey and your bourbon. Meh, meh, meh. Another term you might see on a label is small batch. Now, there is no legal definition as to what small batch means, but uh, the industry standard is roughly 150 barrels. Another label is single barrel. Now, this literally means that they are pulling a uh, select few bottles from a single barrel. The distillers will actually go through their, uh, their facilities and pick and taste test in individual barrels and decide which ones are the best and sell those as single barrel labels. Needless to say, this is small batch to the extreme. Extreme. It's extreme. Another term you might see in the label is barrel proof. Now this means that it is literally pulled directly from the barrel. Um, normally when they're making bourbons and whiskeys, they'll cut it with water or there'll be a a fine uh, a combination of processes that it goes through before it gets to the bottle. When it's barrel proof, it is coming directly from the, from the barrel, raw, uncut, unadulterated. To this end, because it's not being cut in any way, they can uh, be quite a bit hotter. Um, we've seen them as high as 150 proof, which in my perspective is a little ridiculous, but some people like it, some people don't. Some say it provides a pure taste, while others, and I'm in this camp, say that uh, adding a touch of water or cutting it with water in some way actually opens that bourbon up and allows you to really taste what's available in there. Take it or leave it, that's barrel proof. I enjoy being able to feel my tongue. Minor detail, but you know, whatever. Now, there's also straight bourbon, sour mash bourbon, and blended bourbon. And these are all on these labels as well. And they're defining very different versions of bourbon. Straight bourbon is something that, um, for the most part, kind of lends itself to all bourbons. Um, let me rephrase that. The, uh, the criteria that I laid out in the last episode, the six things that make bourbon bourbon, um, for the most part is actually straight bourbon, which means it's not blended, it's out of a, a single batch. So straight bourbon is uh, made from a single batch and uh, they use new charred oak casks. These are essential elements to what makes bourbon a thing. Some companies will sell blended whiskeys that have some bourbon in them, but really there isn't such a thing as blended bourbon. So sour mash is actually a technique that, uh, that some distillers use to keep their bourbon flavors similar year over year or season over season. Um, essentially what they do is they take the, the mash from the previous year and use part of it to create the mash for the new year. That gives um, the bourbon year over year a similar flavor even though it's going to be different every time. Uh, especially when you're aging bourbon, it will change because of the cask, it will be changed because of the weather, it'll change because of you know an earthquake that happens in the area, whatever it might be. But that sour mash mixture helps create a uh, similar flavor time over time, season over season. 
every bourbon is different. Uh, different distillers, different warehouses, different casks. Things that can be sitting right next to each other can taste very different, just depending on the surroundings and, and how they were uh, aged and developed. And that's what's, uh, that's what's really cool about everything that this stuff has to offer. There's a lot more to whiskey and bourbon labels and bottles than just marketing fodder. And uh, what's more important is on those labels are some crucial details to what exactly is in the bourbon or whiskey that you're drinking. So, it's more than just art, but it's still art. So if you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button, give me a like and all that crap, because there's more to come. There's going to be distillery tours, some really interesting interviews, and a whole lot more bourbon. Messed all those up. Uncut, unadulterated, and if I could talk properly, this might work decent. Hopefully I can use one of these.